Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 10 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about pagination customization. So let's see how can we customize the pagination. On the shop page, you can see here in previous video, we have created this pagination, but our template of the pagination is this one. Okay. Now let's uh, implement this template on our pagination. Okay. So for that, I'll go to the project and uh, just go inside the resources directory, then views and inside this views directory, uh, let's create a new folder and folder name must be pagination. So right here, pagination and inside this pagination folder, uh, let's create a new file which is default dot blade dot php okay now let's open this one swap dot blade dot php file and uh, from this file uh, let's copy this one this nav so just uh, select and uh, cut this and paste inside this default dot blade dot php file okay now uncomment this, so just remove this one and also remove this one. Alright, now uh, before this nav tag, uh, let's add here uh, if directive. So before this, first of all check here using if directive. Uh, paginator has a pages or not so right here if dollar paginator arrow has pages and now after this closing dev tag just close here the if directive so right here in dev All right now uh, inside this evil tag this is the previous link okay and uh, here is the next link and these are the paginations number okay so before this uh, previous link li uh, let's add here uh, again if directive and here let's check Uh, check here paginator is on first page or not so for that just write here dollar paginator arrow on first page okay if paginator is on first page then and also add here the else part and now just close here if directive so right here in if if paginator on uh, first page so just copy this li and paste inside this inside this block okay if paginator in uh, on first page then uh, inside the href just add this this one javascript or colon void okay and also add here add here a class disabled otherwise if paginator is uh, is not on, on the first page then inside the else part let's cut this and uh, paste inside the else block and here just add double curly bracket and dollar paginator arrow previous page evaden previous page evaden okay this function and now just remove this style
okay and now for the next button next link uh, before this li just add here if directive and uh, this time check here uh, for the more pages so just write here donor paginator add more pages then uh, let's display this one otherwise in the else part just close the uh, interactive in if and now let's copy this and paste here if paginator has no more page then disable this link so just remove this and add here javascript colon wide and pass here zero and also add the class disabled all right if paginator has more page then add here the url for the next uh, page so right here dollar paginator arrow next page url next page url okay and now uh, let's display here the page number so before this just add here the interactive uh, for each okay add here at the rate for each and then dollar elements Edge dollar element okay and now just cut this and paste inside this for each directive and now uh, let's add here uh, first check here for the string so right here dollar at the rate if is a string if element is in the string then uh, simply display display here the page number okay without link so first close here in f and now let's copy this one and uh, paste here and now inside this li uh, let's add here the class disabled okay and inside this href just add here javascript wired okay this one And now display here the uh, number so inside double curly bracket just write here dollar element okay now add here another interactive and check here if element is an array so write here the function array is array and inside this is to pass here dollar element and if element is an array then uh, close here the attractive and inside this just add here for each dollar element as first uh, add here dollar page arrow dollar url and inside this uh, add one more if directive and check for the current page so right here if dollar page is equal to dollar paginator arrow current page then let's close here add here that part and close here and uh, inside this 
just copy this this one cut this and paste inside the this block okay and display here the page number so right here dollar page all right and uh, inside the else part uh, let's go cut this one and paste here and now just remove this href uh, link and add here double curly bracket dollar url and also remove this and add here dollar page Okay, now it's done uh, from this link just remove this class disabled from here and add inside this li class okay and also uh, remove from here and add inside this li class now it's done so save this file and also save this one blade.php file and inside this pagination links uh, just pass here inside this link uh, just pass here this one pagination uh, default dot blade dot php uh, page url so inside this just add a double call double quote and uh, add here the folder name which is pagination dot file name which is default okay so right here default now save this file and let's check so go to the browser and just refresh the page and now you can see here the pagination is as our template okay you can see here the template page also this is the template and you can see here the our soft page okay now let's click on another page you can see here it's working next page okay it's color uh, this is the previous page let's copy this style uh, previous page style this one style dot color and add here inside this one so after this just paste here okay now save this and uh, let's check again so refresh the page first page second page okay now it's looking good so that's all about pagination customization uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching